Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. My name is David Lemon and today I have an interesting topic for you for some of these features that we will be showing you today uh, mean a lot because these are the features that are coming or that are available now in GrooveCell and they are worth mentioning because you can do a lot of interesting things with this one. Um, some of these features have uh, come out before and some of these features uh, have come out uh, just fairly recently, last week. Um, and I believe that there is a need of a video because some of these features are not very self-explanatory. So this is why I'm shooting this video. It will be timestamped. So in case you are watching a replay later on and you're looking into certain certain features and how to set them up, you will be able to look up this video and learn how to use those apps. But for now, let me just jump into the comment section and see who is with us. I am looking forward to seeing uh, your comments. As always, Eldon is here, Christine Case is here. Um, I have a Facebook user saying, Happy Friday, David. Happy Friday to you as well. I'm not quite sure who you are, so in case you wouldn't mind just heading over to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook, this will actually allow me to see your uh, name so I can, um, I can read your comment and maybe later on when you have any questions, then I can answer that for you. Um, I have Keisha Fox here watching us. I have uh, Kathy Walls uh, watching us. And uh, Luis Hernando is watching us saying hi. Awesome. So we have a great crowd over here and more and more people are coming on uh, still. So we have Eldon as well on Facebook and YouTube. So he is taking charge of the comments today. Uh, and I like to see that. So thank you very much, Eldon. Thank you very much, Christine, for being here as well. Anand is watching us saying, hello, David. Awesome. Good to have you here, guys. So uh, new features in GrooveCell. These, as I mentioned previously, these features came out last week. And I, unfortunately, I, I didn't have a chance to, to show them to you yet. There's a couple of features that are quite good. and and I believe you can start using them immediately. You just need to know a certain things of how to use it. So let's just stop talking nonsense. Um, I will, of course, welcome everybody here. So for example, uh, Joel is watching us saying, Lemon Legend, thank you very much, Joel. Uh, Pierre Newell is watching us. Linda is here uh, saying hi. Mike is here. Darcy is watching us. Yannick is here. Awesome. Um, we have Rob from YouTube watching us. We have uh, Leon as well. So we have a great crowd over here. So new features in GrooveCell. Let's just have a look for what we have. Um, as as you know, there will be a Q&A session at the end of this training, at the end of my presentation. So in case you have any questions, just please use a Q, uh, just a letter Q in front of your questions so I can easily scroll through later on and then uh, just see which ones are main, meant for me. Uh, but yes questions at the end of the session, and then I will be answering them. Just please put a queue in front of it, okay? And yes, so let's just head over to groovefunnels.com forward slash info infographic. This is uh, the place where you can see all the updates about the, about the rollout schedule. Um, there's a couple of things that already came out. You will see them uh, marked in green. Things that are delayed will be marked in red. And also you will see a delay and also an update at the end of it. So in case there is an update and why it is delayed, you will be able to read it through here. Uh, read it here. There is a couple of things that came out and we have created videos on, for example, Groove Video. There is the, the coupon system and the proof widget. But there's certain parts, certain elements that that were not uh, on the timeline, and I will show you those today, but there's some that, that were on the timeline, and I just wanted to mention those. So as you can see, a couple of things over here are delayed, but there are um, things, for example, the new affiliate dashboard for the second tier affiliates. Um, this is out, and yes, and a couple of more things, but let's just jump into my presentation. Let me show you. So this is the infographic I wanted to show you so that you can find the, the updates over here. And as well, another, another important thing, in the Facebook group, you probably all are members of the Facebook group from Groove Digital. So when you are here, click over here in the popular topics and posts, announcements. This is where I post all my announcements and all Mike's announcements and Donna's announcements, all them 
will be here and these are like the most recent ones the last one i pushed out just a one hour ago about the infrastructure update we have a very successful infrastructure update for our servers and the and the basically the base of of the of our house which is groove uh funnels so now the base is very strong and it can handle uh the upcoming features and now after this upgrade we are the next task is to to get groove member deployed um we know it is a bit delayed as it says it over here in schedule but now with this new infrastructure update it's going to be coming without any issues so this is the next next task and i'm looking forward to seeing that one but groove cell the groove cell add-on number one is page tracking and i was like people were like, what what is page tracking where is this one how can i use it why why would i need page tracking and this is what i wanted to explain you today so groove cell add-on number one page tracking so if you are familiar with paid ads similar to um, google ads or facebook ads you have sometimes uh some some sort of code which is called most of the times pixel which you put on your pages to actually track certain elements like who purchased who didn't purchase who clicked on it how many people came and visited it and things like this the page tracking is a very good start to follow that one but inside our groove cell dashboard so uh, at one point we will have analytics inside groove cell where you can see all the 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 stats or uh, per day per hour of of who uh came on who purchased and things like this but the page tracking is needed to actually mark those so this is a start of when we will be uh putting more and more features onto those functions but let me just jump in and show you where the page tracking can be found so let me just jump in oh, okay so inside inside your groove funnels dashboard you can see here let me just zoom in quickly um when you when you zoom in you can see on the on this side you have groove cell and this is where we need to click so that we can come into the groove cell dashboard if you go here to the funnel section you can see that there is a page tracking option that was not here before last week if we go into the page tracking option we can see at this point i don't have any page tracking over here but it's very simple to add on using a plus so what exactly is page tracking you can see that it, it just asks for a name description and a goal value so the page tracking is something like you have on in facebook it is the thank you page uh, pixel thank you page tracking so this is what we have at this point and uh, a page tracking code which you put on your thank you pages so it can track how many impressions how many signups uh, came to that thank you page you know when you're when you're selling a product and you want to to see how many people visited the page how many people um purchased this is actually the one that you can put on your thank you page so if somebody came to your thank you page you know that they had to go through the checkout page first to land on your thank you page so if you put this code on your thank you page you will be able to see who purchased and how many people uh, have gone through your checkout and this is what you can do with it so just to just to show you quickly uh, let's do an example so name let's just do uh, lemon product number one this is now my my product name okay the description you can add on a description for yourself so you can know what the page tracking code is and what funnel and things like this so um let's just leave lemon funnel tracking so the goal value the goal value is uh, the, the word goal value uh, the words goal value is not very intuitive if you think about it because here you need to put the the, the value of your product so in case you want people if you want to track your thank you page that is uh, that the people will come to after they purchase the product that costs 50 euros or 50 dollars they the goal value bef will be 50 okay if you have a product and you're selling it and after the checkout the people will come to your thank you page and the product that they can purchase is valued at 200 dollars then the goal value bill will be 200 this is just a short uh, inf like explanation of what you need to put in the goal value okay when you click add that's basically it so it's very simple you can track the impressions of how many people seen it how many uniques how many people have 
So this is how many view times somebody viewed your page. But how many people, uh, how many people actually, how many IP addresses visited that page? So this will be most of the times higher and this will be a lower number. And then the revenue, it will be tracking the value with the, with the impressions, okay? So this time this, will get you the revenue. So from here, you can see easily that this product, this this thank you page created that much money, okay? So actually I was telling you impression. So value times uniques will give you the, the revenue. This is what you need to, to track. So this is how a page tracking is set up. Uh, now you can click on this button. Actually, this is a copy button. So you copy the tracking code and you put it inside your thank you page so let's just have a look um i just open it from here um i will open a thank you page and i will embed it i will show you where to embed that code awesome so here we go let's just find a thank you page where can i see a thank you page okay i'll just use a new site okay and inside the templates let's just say that my this is my thank you page okay it's not preview i clicked on the preview but i wanted to use this one so this is my thank you page for my product that i just sold and i want to actually track how many people visit this thank you page so then i go here to pages click these three dots edit settings and then inside the the code includes this is where you actually drop it in so including the head tag just click paste there we go so now it is actually tracking all the people that visit this page and then when somebody previews this page it will this numbers these numbers will be going up and this is how you will be able to track simply uh, how many people went and purchased basically visited your thank you page after the purchase so this is a simple one this is just a base of what we are trying to do and it's a good start for it um we are already using this one in our funnels uh from the from the groove digital as a company so and it works awesomely in case you want to change something in case you want to change the value you can just uh, click over here to edit and you can edit everything that you want over here and if you don't need this page tracking anymore you can just delete it simply and you will not be able to revert this so the code that you got you will not be able to 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 have the same code again so once you delete it the page tracking over here that you set up will not be working anymore and then this code you will not you will not be able to set up again inside the page tracking so be careful of that in case you delete it you will not be able to use it one more time you will need to create a new page tracking code and then embed the new code uh, which will restart your or reset your number so the impressions the uniques and and the revenue so be careful of that this is the number one the page tracking this is something new and i believe this will be used a lot by uh by you guys because it is very handy to to follow how many uniques how many people uh, came to visit your thank you pages um, the other number two is the customers tab the customers tab is something uh that will be used by the people that sell things they sell their own um products through group sell and it is visible over here so the customers tab before it just said coming soon now it is an actual uh analyt not analytics but it's an actual dashboard where you can track and filter and see all the details from your customers so if somebody purchases from you they will be showing up like th this one we'll go through a through an example in a in a moment i just wanted to show you how it will be set up so you will be able to filter only the good only the bad sale initial payment rebuild free transactions this is on this is in case you are offering a freebie and if somebody signs up for the for the free product like you created a product that costs zero dollars and then you're selling that one it will be counting as a free transaction in case you want to see those only then you will be able to uh, to filter those you can cancel uh, you can filter through cancellations and refunds as well it works very similarly as the reporting tab over here but it in, in a primary focus it has the customer so in case the customer purchased multiple products you can just simply click on their name and you can see like the profile information their their uh, name their email their address and etc you can also see how much revenue you got from this this exact customer as you can see john doe's name transactions what 
funnel they purchased through what products they purchased through uh, or they purchased and transaction ids the amounts when was it and things like this did they refund or not so at this point nobody refunded and do they have any uh, active subscription so this will be possible to see when you click on somebody's name from here and then you also have some of the basic information here but this is very important because here you can export your your customers so in case you want to to see uh, to have a list of for example all your customers that purchased xyz product you can just simply filter them like a sale or or you can just filter here funnels through funnels so everybody that purchased the the lemonade product and not affiliates only non-affiliates only specific affiliates you can also see the affiliates in case they are affiliates with you um first sale or trial only first sale after trial rebuilds so you can really go into depth and filter the customers that you want to find and then export those put them in a separate list uh, at this point because when groove mail comes out it will be it will be done that it is all automatic but so far the customers tab is working and it's awesome and i believe the people that will be selling products they will be using this a lot uh, it, it makes sense to have something like this so let me just show you how it works so when we go to our funnel that i have created let me just check for example this um yeah let's just go to the lemon aid business okay and i just want to have the link from the checkout page of this product uh, so single price one step let's just go and open this up in a new tab um perfect so here as you can see this is our product and i will now buy this product so my pro my uh, customer name will be anna banana and anna at banana.com will be her email address and i will just put the test the details number of lemon slices let's just put 12 and then let's just put in a dummy this is a, a test stripe account uh connected to it so i can use just a dummy uh, credit card number which is 42424242424 like that and then and this will be the zip code i will click you agree that to the lemon company sending you a link that will get you fresh lemonade yes of course complete purchase there we go so now we don't we <laughs> i send myself to the thank you page which i didn't set up over here this is why i can see the 404 page but it worked so we went through the funnel or we actually purchased that product so let's just jump into the customers tab and see if anna banana is here there she is anna banana uh, just went through the checkout and she immediately appears here and as you can see the total revenue from anna is just one dollar because this is what she purchased when when we click on the on her name we can see all the revenue she brought us which is not that much uh, but uh, we can see the transactions that uh she created because i also purchased one of the one of these ones previously with this name um it's showing up over here but she didn't have any refunds and she does have one active subscription but that is about the customers tab so you can filter customers through um like the sales or for example only the sales only the free transactions you can also filter through through different funnels that you want for example i want this funnel uh, to see everybody that purchased this funnel as you can see joe purchased this funnel and i want to see if anybody purchased this funnel and then you can see Anna purchased through this funnel so that is it this is very simple to understand this filtering you will you will get into flow when you are starting using it but you can also export all so in case you have a lot of people that are basically you can put 100 people on one page so 100 rows on one page and in queue in case you have a lot of customers which i do hope you will have very soon um then you can have multiple pages so in case you want you can only export the first uh, first page 
or in case you want you can export all of the pages at the same time so this is very handy in case you are filtering by all time and the ones that are showing showing up at this point are the, the most recent ones and then you have a couple of more pages which are your old customers that purchased like previously uh, and you only want to export the the the, the current ones the the most uh, most recent ones then you can see uh, you can see them as you can see over here i was testing the i was testing purchasing my own products previously and this was when was this um, transaction this was on 30th of may and the 1st of june so when i actually set up the the lemonade demo as the product and GrooveSell remembered that so even if you had somebody purchase from you previously they will be showing up over here in the customers tab so in case somebody's asking uh, i sold things previously but will my customers that oops that purchased previously will they be showing up inside the customers tab the answer is yes as you can see i had uh, a purchase uh, this was myself i was purchasing from myself and in may when this feature was not yet out but it is showing up here as you can see and this is working as well so just adjust the timelines over here and then you will be able to see your previous sales perfect <laughs> anna banana is a big spender <laughs> yeah um bob oranges <laughs> will be next or georgia peach <laughs> great good fun guys um so next tab the leads tab so this is very important and this is very cool and i wanted to show you what this is so below the customers tab you can see the leads tab the leads are actually some people that wanted to go and purchase your products but they they didn't for some reason like either they got scared by the pricing they decided not to they didn't like your your pages or whatever so basically these are the people that came to your checkout page filled out the name and email and then they decided ah, i don't want to purchase anything here so this is where we will be able to set up our cart abandons and this will be automated um this will be able to be automated once uh, GrooveMail comes out um it will be very simple to to just set up cart abandons where we set up after one hour send them an email so everybody that went to purchase the product but didn't send them an email this one so after one hour after three hours after 24 hours after that after that so you can set up email automations that will be sent out to the customers that didn't purchase your product so the same thing is when we go and try to purchase so let's just get out of here and let me just go and set up show you what i mean by came to the checkout but didn't purchase so if we actually go to one of my products i'm just doing this very quickly just to get to the point so in case you have a multi-step checkout form and and then when it's loaded you can see that the first thing you're asking from your from your customers is to to put in the name so as um, christine said bob orange oops this is the last name bob orange and bob dot orange bob dot orange uh, at mail.com and we can go to continue to billing and now this remembered now this loading in as you've seen this transferred us to the billing section over here but it also remembered the details so we now get the the name the email and so basically the first name the last name and the email because the contact part was where we asked for the first name last name and the email so now this is captured this information is captured by groove cell itself and now in case the in case bob chickens out let's say <laughs> this way and doesn't want to continue purchasing this product we will still have his email and it will come to the leads tab it just takes a bit of time so if we if we now head over to to the leads tab or actually we just decide not to purchase it I just close this up um it will not but not be showing up immediately it will need some time for it to actually update we will have the customer's name customer's email the funnel 
name and the product name that they were trying to trying to purchase Be this is very important to capture because when we will have these automations we will we will be able to say like ah i can see that you try to purchase the product name so the xyz product and from the from the funnel at this price point but something happened and you didn't so here is here is maybe a coupon that you can go and purchase it for a, for a bit cheaper than this could some somehow like um uh, push the person to to actually purchase that product or something like this more uh training will be coming out when groove mail is out and cart abandons can be automated using that one but let me just show you how it would be looking like this is all already possible in groove cart and i just wanted to point out what will be possible with this one um um if we could get the questions from you guys to be relevant to this topic that would be awesome so in case you have problems with with groove pages or something else let's just keep it out from this uh this training session over here this will be for groove cell okay so now we are in groove cart this is a different platform but i just wanted to point out what we'll be able to uh do with this cart abandons so in case you go to um to orders abandoned cards this is something that we will be able to do as well later on with groove cell and groove mail so here you can set up sequences for people that uh that will that purchased uh that didn't purchase the product and uh, but left the checkout page so delay after 10 hours send them this email with a, maybe a coupon and and this text so we can go into the to the to the email and we can edit it so when to actually offer what we can offer a coupon with with this with that uh, after some time okay and you can also see the the, the abandoned cars the customers that were abandoned so this is something that we have even set up much prettier than than in groove cart uh, inside inside groove cell we will be able to set up email templates it will look like this you click and then um you can set up the templates that um we saved your shopping cart or something like that like we saw you didn't purchase but in case you're still thinking about it here is a coupon code or something like that so this is something that will be coming inside groove cell and we just uh started it using the cart abandons and the leads okay so that is the groove cell add-on number three oops i didn't want to do that perfect groove cell add-on number four so this came out a quite quite a long time ago but there was no video on this one i just shared a couple of screenshots in the group because i wanted to point out that this is possible let me just jump in to groove cell but before i do i will set up um set up some some um like overlay so that you cannot see because the 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 account i'm using now is my private account and this is where i wanted to come to show you the second tier affiliates because i have these second tier affiliates but i don't want you to see their names for privacy reasons and their email addresses and things like this so i'll put this on so there we go hopefully you will not be able to see it i believe this will be covering the everything we need so when we come let me just take this off first when we come to the affiliate tab we can come into reporting and we can see the sub affiliates okay so i will now turn this on and i will click on sub affiliates here we go so now hopefully you cannot see the, the emails and the names but what is important is this part over here we can see that some of these affiliates have uh, been sharing groove and basically groove funnels as the product and they got some impressions and uniques and signups and even sales so this is the sub affiliates uh, dashboard over here so what we can see from here that they have impressions if we click on this then we, it will be sorting through the impressions as you can see this person has done some sort of a magical promotion uh, so that they have 23,000 impressions but only 5,000 uniques so i believe this is very spammy kind of of promotion and i don't suggest something like that they only had from 5000 unique visitors they only had 11 signups and no sales um, over here on the left hand side it, it shows me their names it shows me their email addresses but i just wanted to hide it for security reasons 
um, Angelica is asking where was the sub affiliates button I will I will go one more time uh, and show you this one but I just wanted to point out some things so if you want you can also filter by uniques so you click on the uniques and then you can see what person brought in the most unique visitors um, to through their links also you can check the signups what which is the affiliate that had the most signups as you can see over here person with the 69 signups had two sales and then this is the sales amount when you go lower on the page you can also scroll a bit over here and see more information um, so you can see also the refunds if they had a refund so for example this person sold uh, had 14 signups had two sales uh, this is the sale amount but he had one refund so this is the total for the refund if I would scroll more there would be people's emails would be revealed over here so I will not go uh, longer because I could get in trouble for that but I just wanted to show you that this is possible to see so let me just go out from from this one you can actually filter uh, by clicking on these uh, on these actions in case you want to see who sold the most who has the the top sales and then it shows up that this is the person over here with 69 signups and two sales this person brought in the most affiliate sales um, you can also search by people's names and things like this um, sub affiliate discussion how does someone have more sales than signups so I'm not quite sure where that was but that should not happen in my opinion um, that I'm not quite sure how that could happen. So for that one, we would probably. I, I think this could be a this could be a an issue that would need to be checked with the with the devs. But for me, I found this to be to be working, and I didn't see any issues. Some people were having uh, and reporting issues to the support team, but all of those were should be fixed now. There were a couple of updates on on this sub affiliate dashboard that came out. Uh, couple of weeks ago and all the issues should be fixed now um so that is it let me just go out from it and then remove this overlay there we go so what i did is when we were in groove cell okay i clicked over to the first button to come to see the affiliate dashboard and then i headed over to reporting in the reporting of the affiliate dashboard the affiliate transactions you can see the sub affiliates when you click on this one then you can see all your sub affiliates these are the these are the people that were brought in um, through your link but they were also sharing their link and then they were making commissions as well so these are the sub affiliates okay you can also more easier get into it by clicking on groove affiliate and then getting into reporting and then clicking sub affiliates but affiliates are not only possible for groove products when you have your own product set up inside groove cell and you have affiliate uh, affiliate commissions or affiliate uh, program turned on for your own product you can also see that one so inside the reporting you can see um you can see the affiliate details which will be over here so in case um, Anna banana would have some some affiliates uh, they would be shown up over here and at this point we don't have so it is not showing up but this is where it would be showing up so that is about that we will probably have a couple of questions and answers but we will be uh, covering those at the end of this session so these were the the things that i wanted to point out so we had the page tracking which is quite useful to track the thank you page uh to pay people that come to the thank you page we have the customers tab where you can see now all your customers and the previous customers that purchased from you you can also see the leads that will be the cart abandons so the people that came to their checkout so these were the leads um people that came to your checkout but didn't purchase uh, these are also uh, available now it's a groove cell and also the sub affiliates for your products or for groove as as the as a product but there were also a couple of previous groove cell add-ons for the people that didn't see it yet i wanted to point it out these are over here at the rollout schedule so for example we have the groove proof widget i just wanted to point out very quickly just so that we wrap up everything that was 
published through this rollout schedule. Um, so in case you want to see the the pr groove cell proof widget, you would need to go and set up a product yourself. So in case you come into one of your products, you can just click to edit it. And inside the step number 10, so you set up the pricing, you set up the gateways, your pages and everything else. Inside the proof, you can create a proof widget. And the proof widget is a little pop-up like this one that shows up in the uh, on the page actually proving that somebody purchased the product for uh, from you, the, uh, showing that somebody signed up, somebody um, went through your funnel, and this actually increases the, the conversions a lot. So as you can see over here, somebody from Colombia switched to Groove Funnels and things like this. So this is very handy to prove that people are interacting with your business, and this is not something that uh that the visitor found alone and only he will be purchasing from this side it actually proves that other people are using it as well so this is the proof widget it came out in july 22nd there is a july 24th there was an nmi integration uh added on as well and nmi is a company similar to to stripe when you type in nmi nmi.com this is some kind of a futuristic uh, payment processor which is available in, in some countries that uh, Stripe is not available in. So in case you have a, an account with NMI, you can use this one for purchases for your as your payment gateway inside GrooveCell. So let me just show you. When you come into the gateway section, you can come to set up gateways. I have a couple of PayPal accounts and Stripe accounts, but you can also set up an NMI account over here. And you just need the name, this, this tokenization key, a secret key, which you get from your NMI dashboard. And then once you are set up, you can use NMI to process the payments for you. Um, there are no transaction fees or we don't take a percentage of those, those transactions through GrooveSell, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, it's just another option with PayPal, with Stripe and the... The options that we have at this moment which is um, authorized.net as well so this is handy for the people that weren't able to use groove cell so far um and they have access to nmi as a as the payment gateway okay so that was another feature that came out there was another one which has which we just mentioned so new affiliate dashboard with second tier affiliates for your products and for your uh, basically affiliate product as well and then the coupons the coupons were also released so nmi and then the coupons functionality there is a video on that one on youtube working with a new coupon system in groove cell and just to point out the coupons are available inside the when you go into funnels where you actually set up your product funnels and then you click not on tracking links page tracking you click on coupons this is where you can actually set up these coupons and later on when you are working with the cart abandons it will be very handy to actually set up a coupon and send it out for the people that uh, that just need a little bit of push to to purchase your product um yeah for more information on that one i would suggest you to visit the video uh, working with coupons uh, with a new coupon system in GrooveCell. This is available on YouTube in the Facebook group and also in the Groove Digital Academy. So you can see that one. And then also how to use the GrooveCell proof widget in case you haven't seen that one and you want to use it on your site. As you can see it over here, it is quite handy and it is great to have something like that. But these are the products that were pushed out so far. There is something that is delayed, but this is not from our side. It is delayed by PayPal. Um, they actually need to do some of their maintenance for us to be able to, uh, to use them. So this is delayed on their side. And there is a couple of other updates uh, coming and new features coming I believe next week, which will be coming to GrooveSell. For example, the Groove uh, Groove Cell Marketplace is coming to an end. It will be something like ClickBank, JVZoo, uh, Warrior Plus Forum, where you, if you have your own product, you set up an affiliate program for it, and you can also market it on a marketplace similar to ClickBank products. So other people that are Groove members, they can take your product and sell it for you. <laughs> so this is awesome. And I believe this will be uh, coming very soon. Uh, it says August 28th. We will need to update this one. I just 
i'm just waiting for the the freshest news from our developers on this one but this is coming most probably uh, next week or the the week after that we'll also have order bumps and custom domains for checkouts affiliate links and tracking links this is also uh coming soon it will be most probably september 4th but that is going to be awesome as well but more on that later but i just want to go and answer your questions from the from the comments so in case you were uh holding your questions for for the end of the live stream this is now the time where you can ask them so please jump into the comment section in case you have any questions and i will quickly scroll through them and then see and try to answer all those that uh were there before how can i use group cell tracking feature on a bridge page to uh, to an affiliate product so group cell tracking is or so when you have your tracking link from uh, very for um promoting groove you already have tracking set up on that link so the tracking is set up so that it shows up everything inside your affiliate dashboard in case you go into reporting this is where the tracking will be putting in all the information but in case you want to to do more with your link you can come into promos so you need to be in groove affiliate okay so you come into tracking links and you can set up uh, multiple different uh multiple different tracking links for example you let's just go and edit this one you type in the, the information of the product you can type in the type what you are promoting are you promoting your affiliate link from groove or an external link uh or a pro some product landing page you can choose which funnel which product you're promoting and you can click next let's just put in uh, external link you can select the goal so you are uh you want to track the vendor conversions affiliate conversions and you can choose which funnel you want and if you don't want to track any goals you don't have to you can click next then here you can add on some tracking codes in case you have like facebook pixels or or google tag manager codes you can do that here you can also add on the average uh, cost per clicks that um that you are seeing from from your marketing platforms such as facebook or google and you can add on also some advanced tracking ids uh tracking parameters for for different parts that you want to uh you want to track the link that is coming from from facebook you want to track the link that is coming from from google you can set that up over here um i don't want any and then once you are once you come to finish you have this tracking link and this is the one that you would need to share because this will be your affiliate link in case you're working with cloud uh, with clickbank with jvzoo products with things like this this is what i suggest you to do in case you're working with groove you already have this kind of tracking system on your uh, affiliate link so there is no need to do that um I want to push notification on group pages where to put JS code. J JavaScript code is not included at this point, I believe. Um, it is, um, I, you would need to look into this one on, on YouTube. There is a lot of other people that were doing how to embed this to group pages, how to embed that to group pages. So have a look there. Um, question from Darcy Hall uh, David said this saves uh, some detail GDPR in later in okay so this is about GDPR doesn't have uh, a lot to do with the these features updated ETF or okay so this is not related to it um, can the details can the leads be easily exported as a CSV file yes so everything that we have here is exportable so when you have something that you are promoting something that you're doing you can export everything you can export customers you can export leads you can export anything that you would like um so yeah as you can see this is something that i was testing before i started it needs some time to for the leads to, to come in i was testing testing <laughs> and then created one with anna banana um george I, uh, bob orange we will be able to see later on it, he will uh, pop in it's just that the leads need some time to actually uh, come in over here it is not automatic like with the customers and once they come in you can see that uh, basically their details what funnel they came through and things like this so that is 
that is pretty handy over here so this is the customer abandons this is the funnel this is the product name this is the price point and this is where they didn't want to purchase anything so at these price points so this is very handy now if you want to export it you can click export all and then you will get a csv file as you see here um let's just see the questions 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 okay so i bl i believe i asked this one um mm. In abandoned carts, will the automation take someone who left the order form and put them somewhere else when they actually go back and buy something so they don't show up in abandoned anymore? Um, good question. I don't know. We'll need to see. Um, it will be over here. I believe once the, cust once the lead actually becomes a customer, they will not be here anymore. Okay, so actually Darcy is saying something about GDPR. GDPR, Darcy, don't worry about it. GDPR is coming later on. I know everybody is talking about GDPR. We need to start somewhere. We need to push out these features and then we need to secure. As I was saying previously in a couple of my videos, when you create a car, you don't start with a, uh, with a seat belt. You need to actually put on the wheels and the, and the motor and things like this. I know that GDPR is very important, but we need to just put in the features that are actually needed to to sell and then we can put the put the seat belt on it so i believe i'm also from europe and i know that gdpr is very important and uh this is needed but let's just focus on first uh, the selling part and then actually getting the system up and running and then we can worry about the seat belt mm -hmm. bum, 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 bum. I love people that don't listen to the through, through the training and then just immediately and ask for the questions at the beginning of the training before I even started saying something. So please don't do this. This is why I immediately say that there will be a Q&A session at the end of the training. So yeah, it looks like there's no way to have dynamic value. For example, if somebody takes an order, yep, you cannot do this at this point. There will be, I believe, options. I don't have a time frame on that um can pixel facebook pixel and groove tracking coexist yes do, do, do. okay so these were the questions that i found uh, when add to card button using PayPal and Stripe will be added to Groove Cell. I don't, I don't know. I don't think this will be an option very soon because add to card is a more of an e-commerce uh, platform type of thing, and this we already have with Groove Card. With Groove Cell, I don't know when this will be an option. If this will be an option, um, how can I add an affiliate influencer to promote a product and set his commissions? Um, so you would need to go through the to the video which i created on on setting up your affiliate product so in case you go to groove digital's youtube channel you can go to the videos and then you can have a look at the video that is called creating your own affiliate program okay so this is eric what you would need to watch this is a this is a very handy video where you create your affiliate program i show you how to create the promo tools i show how your uh, influencers affiliates can uh, can join the affiliate program and how can they get the links um, that they actually need to take to promote your product Is there a way to test a funnel and product purchase without paying? So Pierre, yes, as I showed you here, I just set up a, a Stripe account. Um, let me just show you quickly. So in product funnels, I set up a I set up my product with a Stripe account that is just a test account. So when you create a Stripe account, you are immediately uh, given the details to connect, which is a test uh, test account. 
when you actually put in your details and the tax ID and the bank connect it with the bank, then you can actually have a live account. So when you actually go and and do the launch for your product, you just switch to a live account and then you are not in test mode anymore. You can receive actual payments so all these uh, all these tests that i did today as you can see with anna banana and and john over here and also bob orange that i was trying to do um they are they're showing up here as purchases and they're showing up in for me as customers but i never actually paid for those products this is just a test account that i i was using with stripe can you test with PayPal, I understand this is not supported. Yes, so PayPal, for some reason, PayPal is uh, is blocking basically Groove Cell in a sandbox uh, sandbox environment. The code is the same that works for live PayPal and the sandbox PayPal. So we are looking into this one. I already reported it to the devs, um, but for some reason they just decided it will not be supported by this one. But I believe this is just temporary. Clarity needed. Can tracking uh, be put on any page? You focused on uh, thank you page in training, but if they come to my home page, can I track with Groove Tracking too? Right, you can, but I don't know how you. I mean, you don't have to put anything in the goal uh, as the goal value over here. Oh, where was it? Um, I believe this was in funnels, and then page tracking. So here, you let's try to not put anything in the goal value. So um, yes. Fox test. Let's use this one as a description. Actually, the goal value is, is immediately set up to zero in case you don't set it up yourself. And it, it allows you to do it. So in case you just want to, to track the impressions and the uniques, you can do that one as well. Um, but then it will not be tracking like the revenue and things like this. But yes, you can. Um, can we delete the test data if we run a bunch of tests it will skew the data so it would be nice if the testing data is separate um, it would be nice but my suggestion is just to filter with the dates uh, at this point there is no way for Groove Cell to know if your if your data coming in if your account with Stripe is a test account or if your account with, with PayPal is a sandbox account so that is not possible to set up here but let's just see if there is something over here cancel future payments there is no way to delete a transaction it is it is automatic but you can put it in the feature request um, as well when it comes back online and then this could be added on I believe this is not a not a huge uh, add on and it will not take a lot of time. Um, my question regarding GDPR stemmed from what you said during uh, lead tab in this training, uh, saving details during checkout. I'm trying to understand how to explain what is saved. Like the details they put in is saved. If I have questions from people in promoting group, please help explain. So as I mentioned for the leads, the detail that they input basically the the customer's name customer email is the only thing that is saved and this is the thing that they they put in uh and the date basically that is it that is all the information we are saving so in case you do a cookie policy or something like that that the information you put in inside the checkout form uh, or something will be saved or will be collected for tracking purposes i believe that will be sorting that out Mm, great 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 perfect can you give some details on which countries would be able to use group cell payments um there is no information on that one yet um i believe mike mentioned a couple of countries that will not be able to use it like North Korea and and Cuba, I think, uh, or Cuba. I don't know which which other countries, but there is a couple of countries, just a handful of them, which will not be able to use them. But all the others will be will be fine. Mm, dum, dum, dum. 
great so that is it so far this is one of the very uh, uh, rare videos that i am doing that is shorter than two hours so we are approaching one hour mark and i believe we are finished so i cannot see any more comments on here we did uh, with the new features there's a lot more coming and with this new infrastructure update that we just did today as you've seen if you didn't i suggest you clicking over here to the announcements tab you can see that we went through this infrastructure update and it will be allowing us to to push out and deploy updates uh, more safer more quicker without many hurdles on the way so i believe the rest that was de delayed will be coming very soon so i'm looking forward to that but that is it guys uh Thank you very much for watching. I hope you will be using these features. They are, they are just a start. It is not the end of, of the features. And we will be probably adding on more and more to pay tracking, to customers tab, to leads tab, absolutely, sub affiliates. So this is just a beginning where we, where we start and then develop from here. But yeah, that was the exploring of new features in group cell and then one more time thank you very much for watching hopefully you will have a wonderful weekend and then see you next week thanks guys bye bye